Hi, I'm Mike Rooney. This is part two of a two-part lesson, free art lesson on perspective. Now, in the first lesson, I talked about one-point perspective, so if you haven't seen that, go back and check that out. That'll help you out a lot. I, uh, I showed how railroad tracks go back into space, and you can figure out your perspective lines from that. Now, what do you do if you're standing on the corner of a building? And it's two-point perspective. It disappears in two different directions. This is what you do. Same thing, same railroad track. That's why you really got to watch part one so you'll know what I'm talking about. You find the horizon line, okay? So I know that the sky meets the earth right there. And if you're on a street scene and you can't see it, you have to imagine where it is. You'll see all the lines trying to disappear somewhere. Now, you're not going to see the sky meet the land necessarily because there's buildings in the way. But you have to kind of imagine where it is. So there's my horizon line. Now, I'm going to have a, a vanishing point or a railroad track over here. That's my VP on this side. And I'm going to have a vanishing point right here on the right side for my second point of perspective. Now, what's happening, I'm standing on the corner of a building. So I'm looking at the corner of a building. And I'm standing directly in front of the corner. Now, what's going to happen, the, the bottom of this building that I'm drawing is going to disappear to that vanishing point. So there's the bottom of the building. The bottom of the second, the, the right-hand bottom, is going to try to disappear on the second vanishing point. So what I'm going to do is draw railroad tracks. So this bottom of the building is one, one railroad track, one rail, and the, the top of the building is going to be the second rail. So I'm going to draw it down from, let's say the building's this high, okay? I'm going to draw the bottom of the building down to the vanishing point. Now see that railroad track? All right, now I'm going to do the same thing on the right hand or the left hand side. I'm going to disappear to this vanishing point. So there's the top of the building and it disappears down to that. Now we know that building's not, you know, 17 miles long. That would be one big mini storage unit. What we're going to do is we're going to show the end of the building being right here. Now this one's over here. Let's say that's the end of the building. So guess what? I have just drawn that building in perfect perspective. All right, so let's just act like those went away. Now here's the building. Here's the top, the side, there's the side, there's the bottom, there's the top, there's the side, there's the bottom. You do the same thing for the windows. Remember your vanishing points. You draw a straight line. Now the bottom of the windows, let's say that here's the bottom of the windows. Let's do the same thing over here. This line is going to disappear over to the vanishing point, and this line is going to go to the vanishing point. As long as you draw straight lines to the vanishing points, you have the perfect bottoms of the windows and the perfect tops of the windows. Now, let's say you got some doors in this mini storage unit. You're going to draw a line from the height of the door all the way to the vanishing point, same way on the other side of the building, and let's, well, the bottom of the door goes to the bottom of the building. Now, just like ties on a railroad, if you were standing on the railroad, if we flip this up, or I'll go ahead and do it, if we flip this up, and this was the railroad, the ties would go like this, wouldn't it? They would get narrower and narrower till you got to the top. And the same thing over here. This is the horizon. This is the vanishing point. And you were standing on the railroad. There's the railroad. It would go just like that. Bing, 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 bing. Now when you bring it back down, look how it looks. See? It looks like windows. Now you could paint all those in if you wanted to. Paint that one in. Paint that one in. Paint that one in. Man, that's amazing. Ha, ha, ha. So easy, too. I mean, once, you, once somebody explains it to you and shows it to you, but I have so many people that just really, they struggle with perspective. We go out and paint a street scene. I'm doing a workshop, and we go out on the street to paint, and they just, they're, they're, one window's pointing up that way. The bottom of this one's pointing down that way. This one's over here, and they don't make them all in a line disappearing to the vanishing point. So the same way happens with the doors. There's the doors tops of the doors. So we got a door here, door there. Same thing, same thing. They get smaller as they go this way. And they just make them a little bit smaller and a little bit narrower 
all the way down. Now, as you can see, it goes down and it looks like it goes back into space. And this is called two-point perspective because it disappears in two places instead of one. If it's a railroad track, that's one point if you're standing in the middle of a railroad track. But on this one, you're standing on the corner. So one side of the building's going that way, one side of the building's going that way. Now that should help you be able to draw buildings, tiles on the floor, checkerboards, anything that goes back into space. Um, hope you enjoyed the free art lesson on perspective. If you'd like to see more about me, go to mikerooneystudios.blogspot.com. <music>